today we have uh, another comparison uh, with the Eventide Time Factor and the Pete Cornish TES. Um, now, uh, I dialed up a uh, echo, well, a tape echo setting here, and um, I got a sound that I like on the Pete Cornish, and what I did was I just matched it as close as I could with the Eventide Time Factor. So let's take a listen. This is the clean channel uh, playing through a Vox with a Fender. <laughs> Okay, so here's the Eventide. filter and what I'm doing is I'm rolling off the highs I kind of match the trail of the smoothness of the Pete Cornish so all right let's go to the Pete Cornish It's really close to, I dialed them uh, as close as I could together. some lead lines. Okay, so let's test the uh, choruses on both units. Um, uh, the Eventide has a wow and a flut, which means I think flutter. So, uh,
Sounded just a little bit more natural on the Cornish, but um, has some kind of ri ringing kind of going on on the on the Eventide. But um, it's not too bad. Obviously, we have Eventide with a lot of options like MIDI, um, a lot of presets, a lot of delay types, and Pete Cornish is a you know, kind of uh, almost like sort of one sound, but it's a really good sound. I was able to dial in a sound that I got on the P Cornish, but it took a little bit of tweaking of the filtering and stuff like that. And um, But without the P Cornish, I'd probably have a little harder time kind of dialing in a sweeter sound. But the P Cornish is easy to get that good sound that, you don't have to turn too much knobs. It's already kind of set. And uh, so there you have it, uh, Eventide, Time Factor versus the Pete Cornish. <laughs> 